like. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. On COVID-19 origins, China has basically already said they think their part in an international investigation is done. So why is Jake Sullivan still here saying he thinks it's possible that they're going to provide the preliminary data at some point? Well, I don't think we just give up that easily. Uh, we are going to continue to press in coordination with the international community, China to be transparent, to be forthcoming with data and information. We're not going to just stand by and accept that they've said they're not going to participate. Now, at the same time, as you know, we're also launching our own review and our own process, and I'm certain this will be a topic of discussion as the president goes overseas this week. And when you say that the White House is going to continue to press, what is that? What, what is that? What is pressing? Well. What are you doing? Okay. No, um, right. okay. <laughs> what, what mechanisms? What steps are we taking yes. to press? Sure. We are engaging certainly at the highest levels and we'll continue to do that, uh, whether it's the Secretary of State or other leaders who engage on, a, on uh, through national security diplomatic conversations. Uh, and we will continue to work through the WHO and also with our international partners uh, to uh, exert that pressure and ensure that uh, we're all going to keep pressing for them to release date underlying data and participate in the second stage of this investigation. And then just quickly a housekeeping thing. Presidents Bush, Obama, and Trump all commemorated D-Day anniversaries on D-Day, on the D-Day anniversary. Why didn't President Biden? Well, I can tell you that certainly the uh, val his value for the role that men and uh, the men who served uh, on D-Day uh, and the memory of them, uh, the families who have uh, kept their memories uh, alive over the course of years on this day is something the president has spoke to many, many times in the past. Um, it's close to his heart, uh, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's more we would have to say on it. Jen, uh, go ahead. Jen, I know you said you don't want to read out any private conversations, yeah. but it certainly seems like the president and Senator Manchin are sending messages to one another in the public. You had the president last week mm -hmm. expressing some frustration about, you didn't name him, but senators in his party who vote with the other side. You have the op-ed from Senator Manchin uh, this weekend. Are these two men on the same page? Does the White House feel like it understands and knows what Senator Manchin wants out of his, particularly his infrastructure talks? Uh, and can you say when, uh, how often these two have been speaking with one another, if not in person, by phone? Well, I can certainly tell you that the president and senior members of the administration are in close touch with Senator Manchin uh, and his team uh, about infrastructure and about a range of issues uh, where there is an opportunity work to work together moving forward. I'll also note uh, that I'm pretty sure Senator Manchin is pretty proud of his independent streak. Uh, and he made clear he took no offense to the president's comments last week. And he also noted, I think, over the weekend that West Virginia doesn't usually get this much attention. So uh, maybe it's a, uh, you know, that's something he doesn't seem to mind too much. The president sees Senator Manchin as potentially an obstacle to his agenda. If he follows through on not backing changes to the filibuster, uh, not wanting to pursue uh, infrastructure through reconciliation, that pretty much grounds the, the president's domestic agenda at this point. Well, we're certainly not ready to accept that, uh, that analysis. I will say the president considers Senator Manchin a friend. Uh, he knows that they may disagree on some issues, as they do on uh, this particular piece of legislation. He's going to continue to work with him, reach out to him, engage with him directly, and through his staff on how we can work together moving forward.